Statistics from the Ghana Statistical Service show that there are about 6 million girls and women between the ages of 14 to 54. Out of this, 50% of them either do not experience menstruation at all or do not have access to sanitary materials, with some using other forms of sanitary materials like the menstrual cup. If one of these persons use two parts each day, that means that we are going to have one person using 10 parts each month, making 120 every year. If we have 3 million of these girls or women using sanitary parts, it means we are going to have 360 million parts used annually. But the question is, where are these parts disposed of? I, I normally put it in the water crystal, that something doesn't go. So when it doesn't go, what do you do? I just remove it and I put it in the dustbin. I used tea to wrap it first, then I used polythene bag again to wrap it again, then I just dispose it to the rubbish dump. You will take one part, then you will fold it, then you will put it in the takeaway rub by me, just sit in the dad's bin. Well, one way of effectively dealing with sanitary um, products like this would be incineration, but this would have to be done at very, very high temperatures, around 800 degrees Celsius. But unfortunately, we do not have those facilities available. So. What happens now is that for safe disposal, it goes to the final disposal site, that's the landfills. Once they end up in the soil, what is going to happen is that they are going to, the chemical is going to bind with the microflora of the soil and prevent decomposition. So they are going to be in the, in the ground for a very long time. The water can wash this to the sea. Remember, fishes are going to feed on it. Okay? And it's going to affect the life of the fishes as well as also serve as a, a danger to those of us who, who, who feed on the fishes as well. Even if to decompose it takes only three months to decompose, meanwhile the other ones will take more than 500 years to decompose and that's already environmental hazard. So we came out with uh, ours which is easy to dispose because in rural areas you can throw it in the latrine, you can just dig the soil and bury it in, in three months you are good to go in the environment. And beside that also, the extraction of the fiber, the waste extraction of the fiber is already an organic manure already. You turn that to organic manure, which is already good for the soil fertility and for the community at large.